Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day today and welcome to the Legendary Sage channel. This video I'm going to be addressing an enigmatic character known only as Helverine. Now, Helverine made his first appearance in The Wolverine Volume 4, Issue Number 1 of November of 2010. And his statistics go exactly like Wolverine himself. He's a male of uh, five foot three stature and 195 pounds with white eyes and black hair. What happened was that this unnamed demon took over Wolverine's body when his soul was dragged to hell by a group of demons. The demon was summoned by the red right hand. They enacted a mysterious vendetta against Logan to make his life a living hell in every way imaginable. To this end, the demon was tasked with killing and torturing his close friends and offspring, as well as his current girlfriend, who was Melita Garner. Helferine's first target was John Wraith, who was working as a pastor and had just met Wolverine. He attacked Wraith by covering his body with various bugs and insects, and then he stabbed him through his chest. Helferine then traveled to Wraith's church and sprayed some type of unknown acid all over the building and then set the building on fire, burning it down with its congregation inside. So as you can see, Helverine was a force to be reckoned with. He was a completely conscious less version of Wolverine. Now, Helverine next traveled to Japan to attack Logan's former lover, Yukio, and his adopted daughter, Amiko Kobayashi. Yukio was able to contact Melita just before Helverine killed her, and Amiko Kobayashi was able to escape during the brutal attack. Undeterred by his failure to murder Amiko, he decided to travel to Utopia, wearing Wolverine's uniform and snuck onto the island. At some point during his stay in Utopia, before his presence was revealed, Helverine encountered Logan's clone, X-23, who recognized that something wasn't quite right with Logan and she avoided him at all costs. He continued to pursue her and haunt her dreams as well, attempting to tempt or coerce her into serving him as the quote-unquote leader of his armies by claiming that she lacked a soul and expressing pride in her skills as a killer. He failed, however, when Laura refused and defeated him with the aid of what appears to be the Enigma Force, throwing off his influence for good. While searching his room back in Utopia, he was interrupted by Kitty Pride and attacked her. She was rescued by Colossus, who knocked him to the ground and tried to reason with him, thinking that it was Logan in a just a berserk state. Helverine kept fighting the other X-Men, Shadowcat, Colossus, Archangel, and Iceman included, and managed to get the upper hand on them. But before Helverine could kill Colossus, he was captured by Mystique and the Ghost Riders. But not before he injured Mystique and decapitated one of the Ghost Riders. Suddenly thrown into the Grace Cathedral Church by a Ghost Rider, Damon Hellstrom performed a ritual to try to bring Logan's soul back from hell. Now, outside the church, Logan's body ran, but the X-Men, Cyclops, Magneto, Emma Frost, and Namor, were waiting, prepared to finally end this. Now, as the demon still remained in Wolverine's body, the two beings started battling for control. The X-Men were worried that if Wolverine was allowed to live, more people would be hurt, but Emma Frost and Melita Garner protested, stating that it was necessary for Wolverine to be given the chance to battle the demon himself. A team of X-Men and friends, all female, was sent by Emma and Logan's mind to assist him. I guess they figured that would pacify him. Now, meanwhile, Cyclops and the team try in vain to restrain Wolverine's body to stop the demon from hurting anyone else. And in Wolverine's mind, Nightcrawler appears with Jean Grey, who uses her powers to force the creature back into hell. This creature, like I said before, was a force to be reckoned with. In addition to having what seems to be all the abilities of the normal Wolverine, he also seemed to possess fire breath, telekinesis, mind control, and some type of unknown acid generation. It'd be interesting to see if they bring this character back in the future, but for now, let's literally thank our heavens that Helverine is gone for good. I'll talk to you next time, and thanks for watching The Legendary Sage.